Welcome everyone to the eighth annual Globy Awards hosted by the Global Philadelphia Association. It is an honor and a pleasure to welcome you all to this international event during which we recognize six Philadelphians who have made their mark in their city, region, and far beyond. Last year, I stood on this podium and told you that I was hopeful for the future. Just like today, when I look out into this crowd, I can see it in your eyes. This is a can-do group of Philadelphians that I'm counting on to help all of our citizens and residents move forward, stay safe, and excel in 2023. That's my goal. As you know, our six Globy honorees exemplify a strong can-do spirit. I know each one of them, and they all have global flair. These six are not only extraordinary Philadelphians, but they are distinguished global citizens, and they deserve special recognition. That's why you're all here today. So true confessions, I usually do not like Mondays. Anybody like that? Yeah, but today is an exception because this is a celebration. And it's also the giving season. I'm so excited to be your host for today for this very special occasion. Hey everyone, it's Josh Shapiro, and I want to thank you for inviting me here to celebrate some of Philadelphia's finest, the women and men who are making Philadelphia extraordinary, not just here in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, but having a global impact. So I want to add my voice to this effort and say to you, thank you for what you all have done to make this organization what it is today. So it is my honor to be here today to celebrate with you Jennifer Rodriguez, this year's Community Leadership Award recipient. Jennifer, please come up. It is an incredible pleasure for me to be here. And thank you, Brett, for your kind words. I'm grateful to be here and I hold Global Philadelphia Association in great esteem. Hispanic businesses have the potential to impact poverty in Philadelphia. And it is the reason why we at GPHCC advocate, advocate for equity, access, inclusion of Hispanics in the entrepreneurship ecosystem. As business leaders, as community leaders, and as residents of this city, we must plan for a safe, equitable, and robust economy that leaves no one behind. Thank you. And I think when you see something that's important to get done for our city, for our region, that makes business better, more importantly, that makes life worth living in this city better, I think you see Sue Jacobson behind that. So it is my absolute pleasure and honor to uh, present the corporate award to Sue Jacobson. And welcome Sue Jacobson. Thanks. You know, I couldn't be more delighted to receive this award alongside with these other outstanding honorees. And one thing I am absolutely sure about these past two years is that it is our collective capacity to come together as a civic and business community, investing our resources, our expertise, and our determination to make Philadelphia a place that truly lives up to its historic promise. We are truly world-class. I, I just feel so important that we believe that and we act upon it and do everything because we are a world-class city and we need to own it. So again, thank you everybody so much. I can't thank you enough for this honor and I truly appreciate you and your organization. Please join me in congratulating Dr. Guy Generals as he receives this well-deserved educational leadership award from Global Philadelphia. I'm proud to be here as a recipient for the 2022 Global Educational Award. It is an honor, first of all, to be part of such a distinguished group of honorees. I am truly humbled. The award is an affirmation of Community College of Philadelphia's mission and core values. I accept this award on behalf of the faculty and administration at CCP who've embraced this wonderful value of globalism and recognized it as a significant part of anyone's education. I want to thank the Board of Trustees, many of whom are here, for their ongoing support. They've yet to say, you're crazy, you can't do that. 
I'd like to give a special thanks to my cabinet for putting up with me on a daily basis as we scaffold this global vision. And finally, I'd like to thank my beautiful wife, who's the foundation to everything I do, Dr. Joanne Gonzalez Generals. Give her a round of applause. <laughs> who on many occasions has said, you're crazy, you can't do that. <laughs> thank you very much. I've known David for over a decade, and I can attest that he's a most worthy recipient. He represents the very best of our city, and he embodies the guiding spirit of Philadelphia. And I want to thank Global Philadelphia Association for presenting me with this Globe Award. Philadelphia, as you know, has been a leader in skilled artisanry for over three centuries now, and has a wealth of talent, and resources. So Craft Now was launched in, in 2015 to, to coalesce the sector through programming, marketing, and advocacy. Perhaps the spirit of um, cooperation and community is a legacy of our founder, William Penn, or maybe it's just something, as we say locally, that's in the water. In any event, regardless, uh, and on behalf of Kraft Now, I gratefully accept this Globe Award. Thank you. And for me personally, when I learned that Vic was retiring and then learned about this award, I felt it was the perfect opportunity to say thank you, Vic, for our long-term friendship. Uh, wish you the best in your next chapter. And on behalf of all of us, thank you for everything that you've done at the zoo and for Philadelphia. To Zabeth, Rob, and the Board of Global Philadelphia, as well as to Coach Daptari and John Smith, thank you for all the great work you're doing elevating our region and our city onto the global stage. You know, we at the Philadelphia Zoo have a fairly unique vantage point in raising awareness and creating engagement around the issues of clean water, clean energy, responsible production, climate action, and of course, life below the water and on land. Sustainability for us is about bringing people together to create healthier ecosystems for animals and for people. Thank you for this award, but mostly thank you for making possible and recognize what has been a personal commitment to service. Service that has given my life greater meaning and filled me and my family with joy. Thank you. Judy, this year it's my turn to say congratulations to you for winning the 2022 Globe Lifetime Achievement Award. Judy, congratulations on your Lifetime Achievement Award from Global Philadelphia. Judy, no one deserves this Globe Award for Lifetime Achievement more than you. Judy, congratulations on your receipt of this Lifetime Achievement Award. Judy has been a success throughout her career Judy, you've been a great gift to Philadelphia and to those of us who've had the pleasure of knowing you. Thank you and congratulations on this award. When I grow up, I want to be Judy Von Seldnick. How lucky I am to count you as a friend. Wow. I'm you know, I want to be Judy Von Seldnick when I grow up someday. Um, it, it is a true honor, Judy, to be here on behalf of our more than 1,500 members of the Chamber of Commerce for Greater Philadelphia to present this award to you. She truly believes in fostering inclusive growth. She is a member of our board of directors and our executive committee. She chaired our board from 2001 to 2002, and she was the second of only three women to do so. And again, Judy, I, I could stand up here for another 10 minutes and talk about the things that you've done for this community, for the people in it, and for me personally. It is truly an honor and a privilege to present the Lifetime Achievement Award for the Global Philadelphia Association to Ms. Judy von Seldnick. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Zubeth. Thank you, John Smith, who started this organization, and I had the honor to be involved from the earliest days of Scaffold for you. And I'm so honored to be with this group of awardees, some of whom are my closest friends, like Sue. I just have such um, emotion about the city of Philadelphia. This has been the most wonderful city 
than anybody could ever ask for. But the thing that I'm, you know, the most grateful for is this group of people right here at Diversified Search. Could you all give them a hand? Because, you know, at the end of the day, it's whoever's on the bus with you, right? You don't do this by yourself, and we all know that. I'm just um, so grateful to all of you and so honored. And I love this city, and I love that we're all here together. And we've got such a great future together and look forward to being part of it. And thank you so much for your support and um, all that we're doing together. And God bless the city of sisterly love. Thank you. Thank you.